Good evening. Today I want to show you the Etrohub deck builder. It's a new deck builder that we released, I think it is four days ago. So there's still a red icon here. Uh, if you see this in the future, it's, uh, it's probably gone. And if you see in the future, it, it might be additional functions to what we have uh, today. So going into the deck hub and selecting the deck builder will bring up this view. Uh, you do not have to be logged in to do this. I'm actually, well, I am actually logged in right now, uh, but you can access this without uh, logging in. And as you can see, it automatically loaded a deck I've been building on earlier. This also works without logging in. It actually uses the browser's uh, web storage and saves the deck there. So whenever you add a new card to the deck or make any changes, it will automatically save in your browser. So you can like close your, um, close the whole window and get back tomorrow and open the same browser and you, it will st still load your deck. This obviously do not work if you edit a deck on one computer and go to another computer, or at least I don't think uh, Chrome that I use has a web storage sync. It, it might actually work. Uh, but this is good so that so that it keeps the deck whenever you want to do changes and you don't have to you don't have to think about closing the window by an accident or anything like that. Uh, so I made this deck builder look quite similar to MTG Arena. I wanted it to be familiar to people when they open open it up. You can see it, the layout is quite the same. Uh, the main change is that all the filters are accessible from the front page. Like there's no button to access the filters. I I don't like that in MTGA uh, where you have to, at least for now, it, it's still the, uh, in the beta. Uh, so it might change, but I don't like that I have to click a button to get all the filters. Like I want all the filters right there. Um, so it loaded my deck. Uh, the functionality is quite the same. Uh, so let's uh, let's do some filtering options here. I want to add some more cards, uh, and I only want to see black and green cards or cards that contain black and green. You can select these filters and click the search button. Uh, this will also pick up cards that have other colors in them, as long as they have uh, black or green they will be displayed. Uh, you can also use the strict filter here and this only includes black and uh, green cards as you can see. So all the black mono black cards disappeared. Uh, but let's use this view and to add new cards you basically just click them just like in MTGA and it will add one new card uh, at the side here in the deck list. So clicking multiple times will add more cards there's no limit to the cards you can add. Uh, to delete the card, you can either go with this X or do like in MTJ, click the card name itself and it will remove one copy. Clicking this will remove the whole card. Uh, and also, you can also use these buttons to add more cards. Quite handy. I wanted to be familiar, as I said, uh, to MTJ players. Uh, and I also think it's it's a good layout to use. I spent a lot of time actually coloring all these uh, cards, like all the multicolor cards. Damn, that was a hassle. <laughs> uh, the filter, uh, you can reset the filter here. It will go back to default. I think I want to make a ordering function. So right now it orders by set and then by, I think it's set and then name alphabetically and then call no it's color it's it's set color and then name that's how it works uh, so you can filter by sets this is the arena set so i if i only want to see dominaria cards i choose this if i only want to see dominaria cards and i can also use these like i only want to see enchantments from dominaria and uh, it fills in this field. So the thing with this is that you can you can write anything you want. Uh, it will search the types. So anything that is searchable in the types, uh, you can put in here. Uh, so I have some default ones like lands and I have sorceries and instants. Uh, but if I want to search for like wizard, cards with wizards, uh, I can choose that and it will only filter the wizards. It's quite quick, and the cool thing is that there's not 
any backend stuff going on here. It's all a JavaScript and CSS. Like after all the cards have loaded, it's all it's all your computer's uh, computer that's doing the math here. It's not uh, our server. Uh, also use like a lazy loading feature. Uh, can we see that now? No, I probably have to refresh the browser since I'm already So you can see that the card back lo uh, is loaded before the card image. So as you browse down, you'll see the the back here and then it will swap to the uh, to the uh, image as soon as it's loaded. Saving bandwidth, we don't want to load 1,500 cards right away. And it's quite a lot of cards in standard right now. Uh, obviously, there's <laughs> there's like thousands of cards, but there's only a few of them that are playable. There's a lot of garbage cards. Uh, other than that, yeah, we have the typical card name. You can search for a card name, like confront. I want to like find that card. Like this, any card name, any type, uh, color filters. And you can also obviously have a sideboard here, so you just swap between the sideboard by adding like this. All in all, I'm very happy with how this turned out. It's uh, quite sweet. So after you're done, you can export the deck to a deck list. If you want an MTGA list, you just click this MTGA button and it will convert all the cards to MTGA. And you can just click this button and copy it to the clipboard, paste it in Arena. Uh, or you can import the deck and save it. Uh, so the thing here is, I'll just make this a test. And it imports the deck. And Bob will do his little legality check. So you can also edit a deck uh, you already have. Uh, but that is a premium feature. So uh, my account is a premium uh, has a premium status so I, I can do it like this if you don't have premium it will look something like this uh, you click the builder button and you will get an error message saying that you need to we need to use premium uh, for it uh, to be able to edit the deck uh, and this it just loaded an earlier uh, deck I was uh, I was building uh, but the deck is different here. I'm using another browser. I'm thinking I want to do something about the web storage. Maybe like uh, make it so that... Well, at least I, I need to make it so that it's unique for every user. I forgot to do that now. So if you use the same computer and you use Chrome and log in with your user and another person uses the same computer and log in with their user, they're going to load the same deck, like the cache, cache deck. Uh, so going back to uh, where's uh, here's the correct view. Uh, going back to this view, <clears throat> if you are premium, you can edit the deck. So I will I will do that to one of my deck now decks now. Uh, when you are in the deck edit mode of existing decks, uh, the web caching will not work. So since this is a premium account. So if I do any changes to my deck now, it will say that the deck is unsaved. It will not autosave. Uh, so when you're done with all your changes, you have to click the save button and save the changes you made to the deck and it will display a message. Uh, we will be working more with adding more functions. I think the next thing to add will probably be an ordering button. So you can order either by set, either by color, or maybe CMC too. I do not, I'm trying to keep it minimal. I don't want to add everything. Like I don't want it to be bloated. Uh, I think uh, I, for me, my philosophy is that less is more. I want to make it uh, light and uh, quick to use. I don't want a lot of options. Like I see a lot of other deck builders have all these, in my opinion, unnecessary op uh, options. Like, uh, like there's some people that l would like a filter for everything. Um, yeah, oh yeah, uh, a card. Uh, I think there's no card text search yet. So you can search for things like indestructible. I think I want to make that part of this. I also need to get rid of that <laughs> automatically filled out address. That's silly. Um, but 
I think I want to make that part of uh, that search and not its own. Uh, I need to test a little bit. I'm not sure what's the best. Uh, so I will uh, go ahead and do that. So that's the thing you will probably see that it will search the uh, card text uh, and um, Maybe an ordering button. I'm not sure yet. I don't know like uh, I just released this I was thinking I was gonna watch what people do with it and watch for any if you have any feedback leave a comment I'm also in the eTrap discord so uh, feel free to hang out with me there and give your feedback there if you don't want to do a YouTube comment I'm also there uh, at a daily basis, so it's uh, it's a lot. It's very easy to reach me in that uh, in our channel, Discord channel. It's discord.etrohub.com. Uh, anything else? No, I think I think that about covers it. Had a lot of fun building this. Um, I like making new stuff. Uh, so I think the next video will be about uh, our collection system. Our collection system is. Uh, it's launched. Um, we haven't made any big announcement about it, and we're still missing an export import feature. I I do want to wait talking about it until we get that done. So enjoy the deck builder. Uh, I think this will be very popular when uh, there's a new set and there's no um, it hasn't been added into the game yet. People need a place to brew their decks. Mm. On a daily basis, I don't feel that a lot of people are going to use it. They're probably brewing in Arena and exporting their decks from there, which is understandable. But, but when you don't have any cards, this will be very handy. Like, the core 2020 set is coming soon, so you guys can enjoy this deck builder then. And until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.